Well, I'll tell you what, if you're gonna have a poster child for Minnesota hockey, Sammy Walker's gotta be it. I mean, he's very respectful. He works extremely hard. He's very respectful to other teams, his teammates, coaching staff, teachers. Sammy's just a great kid. With all the great players that have came out of Edina, it's, I don't know, it's, it's a huge honor. It was a great honor for Sammy to win that. It was a great honor for us as well to be part of that. And Sammy's the kind of person that made you feel like you were part of it. Very grateful, he's very respectful, and he's an extremely hard worker. First time I wanted to be a gopher. <laughs> I was pretty young. I mean, I, I always wanted to go to the U. You grow up here, you go to all the games, and as soon as I offered, I took it. I think I was a sophomore. Phillips with a point score! He let a wrister go from the top of the left, and the Gophers tie it up after it was deflected by Walker. You see the work ethic, and like you said, you see the energy he brings to your team and the positivity, and you know, he, he's a total package uh, as far as a hockey player. Sammy's just like, he's electric, speed, and, and he's fearless. And, I, and I, when I say fearless, like there's no moment that's too big for him. You know, he wants the puck. He's gonna try to make things happen. And it, he was young, but you could just see it bubbling underneath that, that this kid had something special. Walker wins it for the Gophers. It's a lot of timing in hockey, right? And um, Tampa wanted him to leave after his junior year. And he really didn't want, he wasn't ready to leave, he, he felt. And, um, he liked the coaching staff there. He liked, loved the players. And uh, it just kind of worked out that he had to wait a few months and couldn't have worked out any better. I mean, just local, especially for him, you know, play at Edina, play at the U, stay home. <laughs> he knows how lucky he is. Really grateful to have him close. And I think it's just, he loves being here because his friendships, and I, I think it's just been a really good thing for him. Fortunately for me, the Wild wanted to sign me, and that was that was incredible. Um, especially you know growing up in Minnesota, and it's it's been incredible ever since. So what we got here is the third year of the Sammy Walker Hockey Camp. Looks like we got all the groups set up and now let's just go and have some fun. How's it going? You guys working on some skating right here? I always wanted to run a camp just because I, I loved camps growing up. And we had about, you know, just over 200 kids there for a week long, and it was incredible. How's it going? What's up, Joey? Are you guys having fun? About three years ago, when the NIL rules changed for college athletes to start making money on their name, image, and likeness, uh, I got a call from Sammy the day it changed and said, Marzi, let's do a camp. Let's try to get something going. And so we got camp going three summers ago and I'm helping guys like Sammy all over the country run camps just like this. They're playing freeze tag right now. The first day is, is always super hectic. And the next few days, the parents just drop them off. They know where, where they're going and just try to bounce around from each group and try to you know get to know the kids and have fun with the kids. Oh, Joey needs to be caught. You need to be caught. Oh. <laughs> Sammy's on the ice all the time at camp. He knows all of these players. He's helping put together the drills. He gets to know the kids. One of the things that's really cool about Sammy is he makes sure that every kid gets time one-on-one -on -one with him every day at camp. You got a time on your back. Ah. <laughs> got him. 
Like I'll go up to random kids and be like, do you know Sammy Walker? I'm like, I'm like I am. Uh, so it's, I try to, I try to meet everyone and, and, you know, just have fun with it. Hey, who let you up? Who let you up? <laughs> Sammy's definitely a kid at heart. He loves having fun, uh, enjoys just messing around on the ice and a great guy with a fun personality and the little kids just really enjoy working with him. I, who thinks they can catch me? Who thinks they can catch me? <laughs> really, all right. The only thing I can see different is these kids are a little bit smaller than Sammy, but they act, they act the same when they're on the ice together. Oh, no, you're not gonna get me. Oh, you got me. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> There's guys that he played with, like current golfers such as Bryce Brodzinski and Carl Fish. Some former golfers, Johnny Sorensen and Ben Brinkman. Uh, Conley's here from the Iowa Wild. And then all of our head coaches, our current Minnesota high school coaches that have worked with kids and know how to lead groups and are taking Sammy's lead on what he wants the kids learning and what he wants done on the ice and off the ice. All right, hey, right here, only right leg push, all right? It's an all day thing. I feel like if they're just on the ice, they're gonna get burnt out and probably not wanna be there. So we usually, you know, they have off ice stuff and on ice stuff in the morning and then lunch and then they have another on ice and an off ice session in the afternoon. Oh, no way! Hey, let's see who, who can hit the most targets there. Oh, there's one! You know, behind the back of this rink they have a shooting area with the net and stick handling boards so kind of just getting them to, to mess around more so hopefully when they leave here and leave camp they keep working on it and keep shooting pucks in, in their garage or driveway and, and whatnot. When I was their age that's kind of what I did every day was, was shooting pucks and stick handling in my garage. Just a bunch of holes. My mom was not too happy with me but that's kind of that's what I did almost every day growing up. Maraca, what do you got in here? I don't know anybody else who can put on a camp that big and have it run so smoothly. And it's incredible what he's done, not only for, you know, Edina, but for all these kids at this camp. And um, it's just incredible what he does. Sammy has followed his gut. He's followed his intuition from staying his senior year at Edina to deciding to be a golfer. And I think that that's a lesson to a lot of young players out there. You're gonna have a lot of voices around you telling you what they think you should do, but do what you want to do. What's your name? Max. Max is done! Yeah! See ya, Max! Woo! You know, at the end of the week when kids are like, oh, I love it, it was such a fun week, I'm coming next year. Uh, like that's just, so, it's so fun for me to hear. And then like they bring their friends and it's, it's awesome. Yeah, I love seeing that. This is a uh, E minor, D, and C. And those are kind of the four main chords. I started playing guitar three years ago because it was when COVID was happening and I was like pretty bored and it was very frustrating at first, but I finally got a couple chords down and then I could play a few songs and then it kind of just took off after that and I wanted to learn more songs and, and keep it going. And so it's been a, it's been a super fun hobby. I have apps that you just like have guitar tabs on it and I'll listen to a song or I'll find a new song that I like and I, I just want to learn it. Once you learn the chords and, and kind of understand the timing, it's pretty easy to, to pick up new songs and the strumming kind of just comes naturally. We're at 
Minnesota Made Hockey with the Edina location. We've got some um, slick training hockey going on this on this sheet of ice. This is a program that runs all summer long. They skate here and then they go over to the dry land facility, but it keeps them skating and in shape all summer. It's a hockey rink where my mom worked uh, when I was younger. Growing up, I spent pretty much every day there, just kind of hopping back and forth between uh, the different clinics. It's a place that, you know, it means a lot to me and it's, it's always fun going back there. With me is Sammy Walker. Today's drill is gonna be our pullback. It's the sister drill of the toe pull. I'm gonna act as Sam's cone. Sam's gonna be fairly close to me. I wanna say I was like eight or something. It was just me like doing the stick handling drills that I do every day there. All right, maybe we'll have him show off just a little bit and do it with a Russian tap. I think Sammy has always loved the game. For sure hockey, but literally any game he was playing. His heart beats and his blood rushes competition through and through, always has. Can you kind of give me your perspective, what you experienced uh, when Sammy was born? Yeah, that was, um, that was something to go through. We found out about it on our just routine ultrasound and from there it was just a horrible few months. He had what was called an omphalocele and uh, it's, it's where the umbilical cord around the stomach doesn't seal. So the baby ends up growing in the womb basically with an open stomach where uh, his intestines, his liver, different things were outside his body. I would go lay down at the end of every day. I had three kids I was taking care of. And they said, on that day, when he doesn't kick, give us a call. And then we'll know he's, he's passed. And just to go through that on a daily basis was horrible. We had a physician there that really put it into perspective for me, that he's, he's just like, Ron, just relax. Like, if you're trying to figure all this stuff out, it's, you're better off just, you know, praying and being positive and waking up the next day and doing it again. I just had this feeling of everything's all right. He's just fine. But then Sammy was born and we both looked at each other and we're like, he's perfect. And of course, he's got this bowling ball size growth it looked like on the outside of him, which were all his organs, but, but he was, he was healthy and he was eight pounds and he had four surgeries by the time he was a year old, I guess, uh, maybe even younger than that. Then as soon as he started moving, um, I always called him the million dollar baby because that's about how much he cost. What I know now, just like what they went through, I couldn't even imagine. I mean, they're warriors and I'm so grateful for them and everything they've, they went through for that and putting up with me all these years. Uh, yeah, they're awesome. All right, Sammy, let's see what you got. It's not bad got under it a bit. Man, I didn't even know if he'd be able to play sports. Like, I was so worried about his stomach. Like, kindergarten, the thing was just rock solid. Like, I was worried, is he gonna, is it gonna get jarred and wreck his liver? I don't know, he's just been a daredevil from the, the get-go. <laughs> so, it's just been amazing, really. He was climbing on stuff before he could walk on his own. I taught him how to ride his bike, and he's riding down the block and um, could barely even. <laughs> He'd only been balancing for, for, I don't know, an hour or two. And he comes down the block and he's standing on his seat. Who does that? <laughs> Ron and I are like, what the heck? So I, I spent the next, you know, 15 years trying to keep him alive, um, save him from himself. Nice oh, no way. <laughs> Is that fun? Yeah. I wasn't supposed to live. I guess it just it makes you more grateful and just, uh, I don't know, try to make the most of it, especially just, you know, for them. I mean, I, it's hard to even imagine kind of what they went through. So kind of just trying to make them proud and make the most of, of my life.
So we're here in uh, Eden Prairie, at the community center, here to play some bandy. We're just playing indoor today, uh, four on four. Real bandy is outside, 11 on 11. It's like a soccer field ice sheet, like the Roseville Oval with like huge soccer nets. So the indoor is a little bit different. You can kind of see the, the sticks here that we use, but yeah, it's a big one tonight. The defending champs are us and uh, we're playing the Sparrows and they, they're who we beat in the championship and they're first in the league right now. So should be a good one. Do you guys have a team name? Yeah, it's the Spankies. <laughs> Play some Mandy, huh? Go Spankies. Good pass. It's on the ice but it's kind of like soccer rules almost. The sticks that we use are kind of, they're smaller, they probably come up to your waist and they're straight curve. Not like shooting a normal puck, it's kind of like you're like whacking at it, almost like a golf swing. The goalies, they don't have a stick, they just have kind of two padded gloves. It's really weird, you gotta get used to it, especially the two gloves, just being almost like a soccer goalie. It's something to get used to, and it's uh, a little frustrating at times. Oh, hey, Gav. We're up early, 3-0. Gav's standing on his head back there, but up early on these guys, it's a good thing. You know, we have eight teams in the league, and you know, most teams, you, you're getting a pretty good game. So that's why I keep playing. It's, it's awesome. Uh, it's a good workout. It's a lot of fun, too. Oh, my God. How are you doing? It's probably us and the Sparrows every year battling back and forth. They're a good team and they play bandy and we play hockey bandy. So once we're up, just play defense and, and it worked. Nice! I asked you! They're one of my best friends. We grew up playing hockey together. We grew up on rival hockey teams. So uh, just kind of bonded through hockey and our friendships kind of stuck through. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no way! Sam's a guy that everybody wants to be around. You see kind of like naturally people are drawn to him. He's super fun or kind of the happy-go-lucky. Um, just honestly one of the best guys that I know. It's fun to watch. It's almost like the ball is stuck to a stick the whole game and just watching him. It's like a skills competition out there, so it's, it's really fun to watch. Yeah! Oh, Good win, boys. Wow. Good win. Gosh, that feels good. That's what they say. That's what they call showing up. No matter what. New sheriff. New sheriff in town. The Spankies. I think I started playing pickleball a couple summers ago. I feel like last summer was when it kind of really got popular and everyone was started playing. Now this summer we just, we love it. We've been playing it a lot. Oh! Max is my really good friend from Edina. I used to live by him. I've known him since I was, I don't know, like five or something. And then his teammate, Danny is here because they, they play at St. John's. And Danny's mom's just filling in for the fourth for uh, today. Nice! nice. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Was that not a double hit? What happened there? I think we've both gotten a lot better from when we started. We both were not terribly good, but try hard. <laughs> wow! Uh, that was real nice. It's a good workout. It's I feel like it's a little easier to pick up than tennis. It's not as much running to, you know, after you have a hard workout and skate, it's you're more willing to go play pickleball than go run around tennis court. 
<laughs> Dude, that was a nice return there. Yeah, he's super busy. I tell him all the time, he's so lucky, like his friend group, you know, from Edina, the Gophers, new buddies he has with the wild. I feel weird if, if it's nice out and I'm just sitting inside. I have to go pick a ball or, or golf or something. Ah! Oh. Almost. Tonight, the road trip concludes in Vancouver with a rematch against the Canucks. And to help out, a fresh face is on the scene. Sammy Walker ready to make his NHL debut. Out front, we got Moose. Hey! We got Becky. Hey! We got Spurgey. Hey! We got Mitzi. Hey! We got some kicks. Yes, hey! Moments aren't too big for him. He's just going to play the way he plays. And he made, a, he made an impression his very first game for the Wild, and yeah, it was cool to watch. Then the puck knocked away, he got it back. Walker cuts to the net, penalty coming against Vancouver. Walker draws the penalty with his drive to the net, and the Wild will go on to the power play for the second time. Well, it's fun to see Sammy go on to the next level and do the things that he's doing. Is He kind of expected it with the talent that he had and the work ethic that he had, you know. He always wondered with his size and stuff like that if he's going to be big enough to do it, and of course, like everything else Sammy did was, uh, he made the best of it and he's done a great job. And he scores! The first NHL goal for Sammy Walker. It's an empty netter and late the third in Winnipeg, the Wild have a four to one lead. It's just really surreal and super fun to see your child be able to play at that level. You want them to keep playing as long as they want to keep playing, but to continue to this level is just an incredible thing. He doesn't let other people's worries or whatever affect him. That's what's been so impressive. He has so much confidence in himself right now. And no matter who you are, you know, if you have a lot of confidence, uh, you're a hard guy to, to stop. You love to see a hometown boy playing his hometown team. And when Sammy played here, you talk about the wild quite a bit and those types of things. We always follow the wild. So we're always proud to see one of our own put on a, a wild jersey. Thank you.